take the young MPs forum. They also have a statement, so I'll invite them to read a statement. After that, I'll read one comment each before we suspend sitting. Yes, I remember. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity. Right, Honorable Speaker, I am more elated as a young parliamentarian of this August House To be, part, to be part of a process that finally has set in motion a parliamentary youth forum that seeks to, to do many things to boost our infant democracy and also to strengthen and upgrade the reputation of our parliament. I'm further elated because as we mark 25 years of parliamentary democracy, there will be more justifiable reasons to involve young people and increase our pace in parliamentary process, in the parliamentary process. Development in our context is not only necessary, but urgent. Hence the need to devise increased mechanism of engaging the young ones in all spheres of development. Young people all over the world constitute the most important human resource that any nation can harness for its accelerated development. For that matter, since Parliament is the bedrock of our democracy and a vehicle for policy and lawmaking in development, I'll be more than happy to see that our integration with the rest of the world through the Inter-Parliamentary Union strengthened with the creation of the Young Parliamentarians Forum. Mr. Speaker, the evolution of Ghana's Parliament has witnessed significant rule of young MPs who have demonstrated their interest in promoting the pillars of democracy in Ghana's parliament through a number of ways. These measures, these ways measure up or commensurate with the general functions of all MPs over the time. However, a forum for the promotion of their welfare and interests has not been active over the period. Over the, period. the Young Parliamentarians Forum it's a recognized subbody of the Interparliamentary Union comprising of young MPs below the age of 45. According to the statute of IPU, all national parliaments registered with the union are required to have a young parliamentarian forum which will seek to integrate youth perspective in IPU agenda. The statute of IPU under Rule 1 of of the chapter on rules and working modalities of the Forum of Young Parliamentarians recognize the Young Parliamentarian Forum as a permanent body of the IPU dedicated to the quantitative and qualitative participation of youth in Parliament within the IPU. Mr. Speaker, according to the IPU report 2016, youth participation in politics is critical to safeguarding and strengthening democracy of worldwide. The youth constitute prime human asset for development and promoting democratic governance, including their duties of ensuring rule of law, safeguarding fundamental human rights, and upholding to an accountable governance in wherever they find themselves. With an estimated 1.2 billion people aged between 15 to 24 on the planet, justice and democratic, democratic legitimacy demands that demands more than a token youth presence in parliament. People between the ages of 20 and 44 make up 50% of the world's voting age bracket, but constitute only 26% of the world's MP, MPs. The composition of national parliament must reflect the growing demography of our country. 
more young people need to find space in legislative work as a greater number of the experienced and aged parliamentarians retire. It is my expectation that this subject finds hearing among the larger youth courts in the country to stimulate a process towards advancing our democracy. Mr. Speaker, the Young Parliamentarian Forum, being an integral part of the IPU, seeks to address poverty, reduce hunger, and create jobs through democratic governance with greater participation of the youth in parliamentary work. Its umbrella body, IPU, was established to protect and build global democracy through dialogue and action. It comprises 178 national parliaments, and Ghana is a member. To fast track the work of the IPU in terms of ensuring increase in youth participation in parliament work, the IPU established the YPF in 2013. This initiative was to help address the bare fact that 26% of the world's MPs are under the age of 45, with male stroke female ratio standing at 60 to 40. Meaning that through, through the, meaning that though there is low youth representation, there is also more male than female under this age bracket. Ghana's parliament uh, today uh, inaugurated a chapter of the Young Parliamentarian Forum. As a young MP, it is my utmost desire to inform the House about this all-important function. We will seek to inaugurate the leadership of the YPF, who will be mandated to work within the framework of Parliament and its own modalities of implementing a two-year strategy aimed at boosting or boosting the capacities of young MPs below the age of 45. Avenues such as joint research projects and resource mobilization have been set out to create opportunities for YPF members to strengthen their roles in oversight and legislative functions. Mr. Speaker, the YPF will be a platform to reach out to the larger Ghanaian youth and to help stimulate youth-related policies that will be cultivated from below the youth working groups scattered and structured under our National Youth Authority. It will further seek to promote the welfare of young MPs while having an international outlook on avenue to, to participate in sub-regional policy engagement that affect young people. Hoping that YPF Ghana will be a key factor in shaping Africa's choices as far as the development of the continent's youth are concerned. Mr. Speaker, I wish to end my statement by quoting Kofi Annan, a former UN Secretary General, when he stated that no one, and I quote, no one is born a good citizen, no nation is born democratic. Rather, both are processes that continue to evolve over a lifetime. Young people must be included from birth. A society that cuts itself from its youth serves its lifeline, and it is condemned to bleed to death. I, I end, end of quote. The pinnacle of democratic transform, transformation lies upon the shoulders of the youth of a nation within the aspirations and convictions in parliamentary democracy. As we mark 25 years of parliamentary democracy, we should hope that the seed of birth of young parliamentarian forum under this current parliamentary dispensation will grow to expand the frontiers of our democracy and seek to strengthen our popular gains. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity.